Republican Congressman Chip Roy of Texas sits on the House Oversight and Budget Committees. Great to see you today. Uh, let's start right there with the tariffs. Are they working with Mexico? They are here. Well, Harris, thanks for having me on this afternoon. And I do want to echo uh, how much we as Americans are grateful for those men who stormed the beaches in Normandy as we are 75 years later. I'm going to be in Bedford, Virginia tomorrow at the National Memorial. So thanks to that generation and, and our hearts are with all their families. You know, today, uh, with respect to what the president is doing on the tariffs, you know, I was entertained by the quote from Speaker Pelosi where she said it was not a responsible way to handle something dealing with our, our next door neighbor. You know what's irresponsible? Is a Democratic Party led by Speaker Pelosi who refuses to secure the border, who refuses uses to deal with the crisis at our border, who won't even bring forward a $4.4 billion supplemental that the president and his office of management and budget director, Russ Vogt, has sent up to the Hill for us to provide the dollars necessary for the beds, for the judges, for all of the things we need to do to deal with the crisis. She won't do anything to fix the asylum laws that are being abused by cartels for profit, while little girls and women are abused on a journey, while people are held in stash houses for profit for cartels. And she has the gall, the Speaker of the House of Representatives has the gall to be talking about the president is trying to do to use the few tools in his disposal to try to secure the border. I find it actually appalling that she won't even bring a bill to the floor of the House for us to be able to do our job and defend the United States of America's border. What is the timing on all this? I mean, you've got Mexico now with the delegation here. You've got them trying to do some things. Although, if you look at Mexico's immigration laws, they're a lot tougher than ours. I mean, they don't have a situation where people are pouring over their borders, at least not that's being reported at all. I want to get your response to that. Well, I mean, there's people that are pouring over their borders, but they're coming straight through and coming to America, and Mexico's not being a responsible neighbor to help us deal with it. We could have a return to Mexico policy with our MPP protocols. We could have a safe third country agreement if Mexico would work with us on it. If ah. we could stop allowing people to come to the United States via our asylum laws and hold them in Mexico while we adjudicated the claims, the numbers would plummet. But instead, in the month of May, 133,000 people were apprehended by Border Patrol. They announced that number yesterday. Mm -hmm. 133,000. That is up from 100,000 in April and 100,000 in March. When we have people that are overwhelming our uh, facilities in the southern border and there are people being harmed on the journey. So the next step in this is that the Democrats ought to stop playing politics with human beings. Stop using them as shields so that they can cynically use them in a campaign in order to be able to say that somehow Republicans don't like uh, uh, immigrants coming to the United States and there's nothing to be further from the truth. So They're using children and talking about them being in quote cages when our border patrol agents are trying to figure out how to process them and keep them safe. Every person who's harmed in this process, that blood is on the hands of Nancy Pelosi. Uh, Congressman Roy, uh, when you're talking about tariffs for immigration help with Mexico, not everybody in your party is on board with this. Senator John Kennedy, uh, Republican from Louisiana, mm -hmm. explains why he's against the tariffs on Mexico. Let's watch and I'll get your reaction. I'm worried about the tariffs. I worry that the harm to our economy will be greater than the deterrent effect on Mexico. Uh, Mexico's our biggest trading partner. We do about 700 billion, that's nine zero dollars worth of uh, business with them every year. Uh, the president's gonna be back soon from UK. I'm, I think we're gonna get it worked out. So the senator's facts are right on this too in terms of trade. Well, I, my question for Senator Kennedy and for any other senators raising question is what is your solution? What is the United States Senate going to do to actually step up and deal with the crisis at our border? Because when a house is on fire, you don't run around wondering what the tax is on the fire hoses. I mean, look, we've got wow. a job to do. We've got to deal with the border. Now, look, do I like going into uh, tariff agreements uh, you know, and, and tariffing uh, products from Mexico? No, that's not my first choice. I would rather just sit down and have a solution. And I'm glad that the Mexican government has got leadership here and sitting down with us. Why are they doing that? Uh, because the president is threatening to tariff. Uh, we uh, need a responsible solution right now. I, I want to get to the next topic, but I'll just leave it yeah. on this. Would there ever be a summit? Could you get together across party lines and make this happen sometime before the numbers continue to burgeon? Yes. Or no? I would love to, but let me just give you an example. Last summer, and you know this, Harris, we had a vote on the floor of the House that would have had border security, would have revamped our immigration system, and actually provided status for dreamers, and not one Democrat voted for it because they're so cynical, they want to use it as a campaign ploy. All right, we'll move on. Some mixed signals from House Democrats on holding administration officials in contempt of Congress. Right. House Majority Leader Cindy Hoyer reportedly warning that every Trump official who has defied Congress could be included in a contempt package 
to be voted on next week. But Judiciary Chair Jerry Nadler has announced he's open to restarting negotiations with the DOJ, raising the possibility that Attorney General Barr's contempt vote could be postponed or even canceled. What is this situation? Is this a negotiation? Well, I think there's a back and forth going on, and I think that you're going to hear some more posturing, but that's what it's all about is posturing. None of this is going to address the health care costs that are skyrocketing for the American people, the $22 trillion in debt that our kids and grandkids face, the $100 million of debt that we're so racking up So why are they hour. doing it? They're doing it for political purposes and political purposes only. They're trying to set up a fight heading into an election year rather than actually focusing on the rule of law. Attorney General Barr sent materials up. He has sent more materials than anybody who's ever had such a request, to the best of my knowledge, up to the Hill. And now they're trying to hold him under contempt when there's no collusion, there's so, no indication of, of the obstruction that they're talking about. And, and the Attorney General has sent materials in cooperation with the Hill. If they want to sit there and have a hearing, let's have hearings and we can go through more of it. But they're just wasting the time of the American people to solve the problems they sent us here to address. All right. Uh, Congressman Chip Roy, the great state of Texas. Thank you. Harris, take care. God bless you.